Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good, make you feel good, friend. But today, <laughs> today we turning heads. Today we capturing attention. Today we are getting close encounter ready. All right. So here's the deal. Let's just keep it real because y'all know I keep it real. She's authentic over here. If you're dating a basic, and when I mean a basic, a dude that just, you know, just wants you to smell good and look good. He's not asking for all the two, three hundred dollar niche bottles. He don't even know what that is. He don't even know what the word niche means, friend. Go to the bathroom, buy the words, get you some of those body sprays, some little uh, vanilla, get you a really good vanilla lotion, call it a day. If you want to amp that up a little bit, add a little mm to your vanilla, you can go to Target or Amazon and you can pick up one of these. Now, this is from Mother Shea, and this is a vanilla shea butter. This is a beautiful vanilla sweet, almost like vanilla bean scent. Y'all, this is so good. First of all, let me show you. It's real. I'm going to put this on the base of pretty much every fragrance when it comes to like date night, that intense date night, because it's not going nowhere. Your skin is going to be moisturized. You're going to smell good throughout the entire date. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely a staple in date nights. All right. Now, if you're dating someone who's a, a little bit buff, basic, right? He's, he's a gentleman who enjoys a really good fragrance from the designer account, right? He shops at Macy's, Dillard's, all the things. And every once in a while, he might hit up Nordstrom, okay? Then you might want to go ahead and take a butter like this, a really nice, creamy, vanilla, intense. This is to me. I'm not going to steal you wrong. Butter, okay? And you might want to add some Jean-Paul Gaultier LaBelle. This is a beautiful scent. Whether you get the original or the, I don't know if it's called, X-Ray Parfum, whatever it's called, that one, this one. Now, I've already bought a backup for this one. I don't know why I haven't bought a backup for this one, but this one is Bay. This is one of my favorites when it comes to date night. This will last on you. It is sweet. It's beautiful. Both of these are, you're going to get that sweet, beautiful pear scent. And I know sometimes people think that that there's a note in here that's a little, mm, is it vetiver? It's like sharp or something to most noses. This is why I say get you that vanilla body butter. Put these two together and <laughs> thank me later. Or thank me tomorrow because you won't be able to talk to me later. <laughs> we have our base on. We're smelling good. We're feeling good. We're ready to go out, friend. We've got our clothes on and we want to spray. We want to spray something because we with this guy. Once again, the shots at Dillard's and Macy's. He knows a little something, but you know, you know. So, we want to kind of impress it just a little bit, just a little something, but we don't want to smell like everybody else. So we may pull out May, and this is from All Hermaine, and this is Amber Oud Rouge. This is that beautiful scent. This is, for me, really close to the MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540 x straight version, right? But we're not going to just leave it there because we don't want to smell like everybody else. Because there's a lot of people walking around right now smelling like, the R540, whether it's a dupe or it's a real thing. So for me, I always layer these two together when I wear them. So once again, this is Amber Oud Rouge, which is just imagine a beautiful, extremely long-lasting, loud, huge projection, sweet, grown woman's cotton candy, okay? Then you're going to put that sex appeal on top of it with Jean-Paul Gaultier LaBelle. Okay. I'm just saying... <laughs> Don't, please don't sue me for making babies. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and stick with designer because there are a few people out there who just really aren't, mm, they just like niche, I know, mm, want that, I, I want to stay at the counter. I feel you, friend, I got the counter for you. Now, this is a beautiful scent, but this is for more of, I'm going to say more of a mature woman, okay? <laughs> Wrong woman, know what she want, okay? But however, I wasn't that mature when I was wearing this. I don't even know why I started wearing this. Or what made me feel like, you know, I had the sex appeal to throw this on. But girl, the original, the original alien, right, from Terry Mugler. That, I'm just saying, I don't have the original. I, I, mean, I got the closest bottles I could get. But y'all, this beautiful andalic, sexy jasmine scent goes hard in the paint. This is the one I used to wear when I would go out. And I knew we was going to be out, you know, having a few libations, Okay. Sitting at the bar, sitting at the bar, grabbing attentions, and they would always play me. You smell good. Now I'm I'm talking about club feel, smoke, drink, liquor being pouring right in front of me at the bar, and I smell good. I would always get the compliment because this right here is gonna out beast majority of the fragrances. Now they switched it up a little bit. Now we not Terry no more. We done went to Mugler. We do 
we only going by the last name because we've been bought out. But she still do her thing, not just as hard as she used to. So she might be a karaoke night. She might be a top, top golf night or just, you know, chilling restaurant type of situation. Yeah, this right here, Alien from Mugler, go get that. You have to like Jasmine, though. You have to like that mm, dark, deep, sexual, all black, everything. Yes. But sticking with designer, we're going to go ahead and pull this one out because I really do like this one, especially around fall for a really nice like date night when it comes to movies. Or I don't really want to say Netflix and chill, but if you're going to someone's house and it's like car game night, it's like that type of thing where you still want to <laughs> smell sexy for your man and not too sexy for everybody else's man that's in the building, okay? You want to smell good, sexy, and a, a little bit alluring. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull out this from Dolce & Gabbana. So this one right here is, oh girl, this is the only one. This is beautiful. So this is like coffee and, I, so I'm going to tell you what I smell. So for me, it just reminds me of orange blossom coffee and like roasted like coffee and some nuttiness and some sweetness like honey agave. That's what it reminds me of. So definitely one of those like close encounter, like kind of sense where you still smell good a little learning but you're not just trying to get the attention of everybody else it's mostly for when he's next to you type of situation now it will project for quite a while then it will come more close to the skin by the fourth hour so you feel me we're not trying to go out there and track everybody else okay we're trying to get what's right here right so yeah this right here so this is Dolce & Gabbana the only one now this is Bay 24 7 Summer, spring, winter, fall, friend. You're going to see this in my collection. This is her second bottle. I need to get another one. I never even purchased the other ones because I had decants of them. But let me tell you. Okay, Ellie Saab. Y'all know that's my, that's my husband. Okay. Ellie Saab, friend. Mm, girl of now. I guess he was just thinking about me when he created this fragrance. And I, it's all good. I be thinking about him too. So this is a beautiful sense. This is sexy. This is like... Okay, this is so, this is, are we going to post this after dark? Maybe we should. So this is like sexy after dark. Honey has been poured all over. Sticky, sweet, sexy, brown sugar on top with orange blossom flowers just all over your body. This is good. Just listen to me. Just don't overspread if you're not like into like that heavy, sticky, sweet surfiness. And don't spray it in summer if you can't handle it. Wait till it's cooler temps. You get your fall and winter flowing under 80 degrees, okay? And go ham, friend. And trust me, he will call you and say, I can still smell you in my car. <laughs> I know. If you don't, yeah, girl, I'm just saying. Girl, this is good, friend. This is good. You have to get this. So this is from Ellie Saab, and this is Girl of Now. It's, it's Listen, it's the bottle. It's the craftsmanship. It's the glass. You swear they were a glass company. Yes. Now, here's another tip from me to you. So, this is a very affordable tip. If you're into, like, DIYs, you like making your own body butters, oils, or whatever, there is a body, there is a oil available. You can get it at Sprouts, Home Goods, and you can pick, like, the scents that you like. So, I like to use, like, a little drop or two of Yalong Along and Vanilla Bean. And I mix it with almond oil, right? So, I have almond, vitamin E, and um, shea nut oil in here. So, for fall and winter, friends, so I use out of shower oils when I got to shower. I do not pat myself dry with a towel first. While I'm soaking wet, I like to oil my body and then pat myself dry. When I wake up the next day, I'm not ashy, okay? Because I don't like to wear lotion in the summertime. It's hot here. So I make sure my body absorbs like all these oils and my skin is soft and not ashy so I don't have to wear a lotion next day. So, but, but <laughs> if you want all the parts of the body to feel good and smell good, ma'am, not the inners, but around everything, just use your imagination around everywhere, all the parts, get you some oils, some oils that is good for your body, like jojoba, almond, shea nut oil, avocado oil, add a little bit of vitamin E for your preservative, okay? And I don't mean like um, Trader Joe's vitamin E. I mean like the real, nothing else is included, vitamin E. Put this all over your body and you'll get the compliment of you are so soft. I'm just saying. And this will also be your base because you can add your essentials to it of the oils that you like. 
for your body. So if you're a summer, springtime, more floral type of chick, get you one of those little orange, whatever essential oils, put a few drops and I'm telling you, this will last, this will last. So if you can't go buy no fragrances, get you some oils. And then once you have the oils, make you a lot of bottles with different fragrances and you'll have them. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Right. We're going to keep this video on the positive note because I've been seeing a lot of negativity floating around the fragrance community. It, she don't do negativity around here. So let's keep it positive. Ma'am, at any moment you decide to spray something on yourself, make sure that it's for yourself. Now, yeah, we like the attention. We like the, oh, you smell good. What is that? Let me come smell you. Come give me a hug. But if you don't feel good wearing it, <laughs> You don't feel secure within yourself. You don't feel like, mm, that's me. Please don't wear it. Don't do it. Because it, it's uncomfortable. It's like wearing something that's too tight and you're steady trying to pull it down. Don't do it. There's always going to be something for you. There's something for everyone. Let's get into these Middle Eastern fragrances, though. <laughs> Ma'am, this might not be for you. You might not like rose. You might not like sugar cubes, okay? But let me tell you, they thought that they would add a little lemon, a little citrus on top and cut the sugar, but they didn't. All they did was enhance the flavor, <laughs> okay? This is Roses Vanille from the house of Mancera. This baby right here is a beast. You're going to put this on. You're going to put this on while you're getting dressed. And then maybe he'll show up 30 minutes later. You're going to get in the car, and he's going to do a double take. Well, damn. <laughs> Actually, he's going to meet you at the door. We're not coming. To, we're not walking to the car without you opening the door. We're too old for this. We're not doing that. You're going to open the door. He's going to come in, give you a hug, and be like, damn. It, it, ma'am, the outfit hadn't even hit him yet. It's the fragrance that's going to hit him in an ounce, okay? She's ready. Mm -hmm. Five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight. Midnight, she's pillowcase going to smell like this. I'm just saying, you know, this right here ain't going nowhere. She's not going nowhere. She's going to smell good. And the next day, he's going to be like, I can still smell you. <laughs> I know you can, sir. I know you can. This is good. This is really sexy, sweet, alluring. I don't want to say beast mode, but this 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 is a bad girl. Depends on how much you spray too. You don't have to spray a lot of this. I just spray a lot because I like to. Mm -hmm. That's that's just me. We're gonna keep it moving with Mansara. We're gonna pull out a more mature fragrance. This is more for my more mature ladies in age who who like a good tuberose, who got a good nice you know silver man on her side okay got a little silver going up and all up in the beard this is what this is for her because <laughs> it's gonna take a grown man to appreciate this yeah this is for some reason y'all the tuberose in here is very dark to me even though it is sexy it is sweet it's very it's not bubblegummy but it is sharp it is very dark to me and when I smell this, I think of Victoria's Secrets, all black, you know, little onesie. <laughs> this is very dark to me. And I don't know why this comes to mind. I've seen other people review this and they'll say something like, oh, yeah, it's two rows and, you know, pretty flowers. And it smells really good. I don't know why. Okay, but this is good. This is sweet. And, you know, it's not even my fragrance of the day. My fragrance of the day is Cocoa Vanilla, but we're going to spray this on top. Now, I, have, I haven't I have worn this one in a while, but this used to be the girl, okay? I used to put on this for my base, which is the Vanilla Shea Butter, which is... Listen, if y'all haven't purchased that, I don't know what you're waiting on. You're, it's going to be a life changer. They have it in lavender, eucalyptus, rose. Go get that. All right, so Mother Shea. I will link it down below. Anyway, I used to wear that with this all the time. All the time, y'all. Tom Ford Noir. Yeah, all the time. So this is spicy to me. For some reason, this smells like spicy vanilla coke. But vanilla coke. You remember when I used to drink vanilla rum with coke? But spicy vanilla rum with vanilla coke. That's what this smells like. With that vanilla body cream. Yeah, I wore it, but... <laughs> This was one of the most, this is one of the biggest compliment getters I used to receive when I would wear this. And whether I was on a date night or not, other people would say, man, you smell good. Oh, what's your fragrance? Ladies would stop me. Like, I need to get that. I would smell like her, that type of thing. This right here, I don't know what it is about this scent, but um, 
yeah, I don't know. This is not for everybody, okay? Because this is your dark late night <laughs> situation. This is not your daytime hot, all right? But this is really good and spicy. And I don't even know what's all in here. I wonder what's in here. Now that I think about it, girl, I don't know how many bottles I've been through with this. At one point, we used to find these on FragranceNet for like $50, and I was picking them up because I was running through them. The crazy thing is my 12-year-old, my son, loves this fragrance, and he comes and sprays this all the time. I don't know what it is about this scent. I think it's the spiciness that's in here, and... Yeah, spicy. It's like a spice vanilla for me. I don't know. I really like it. I love it. So, yeah, definitely check it out if you're into, like, a hot, spicy, you know, salsa night, friend. You might got your little salsa friend and like to do a little something on the dance floor. <laughs> that'll out. That'll outlast the sweats, okay? That with a good sweat and some vanilla on the back. Oh, girl. I'm talking about mm, pheromones just shooting off of you. All right, so anyway. Last but not least, we're going to say Nashani Ani. I'm going to say Nashani Ani because I've gone out a couple of times and people have stopped me and asked me what I'm wearing. And this is late night. I've oversprayed it. And I enjoy this spicy vanilla scent. However, the one I enjoy most is from the house of Tua and it's Drowning in Vanilla. That scent got me so many compliments that it was ridiculous and I went through two bottles of that I told you all and so this is what I have left of Nishani Ani which is quite a bit because drowning vanilla just does it it has more of the vanilla to it and a little bit more spice and this although beautiful spicy citrus vanilla is not for everyone so this is for the guy who likes vanilla with a little um he knows a little something about the niche counter okay all right, so at the end of the day, it's about it's all about smelling good and feeling good. Like, if your confidence level is, <laughs> your self-esteem is, mm, you got that outfit on and you smell good. So for me, fragrance is like icing on the cake. And I don't mean whipped cream. I mean butter cream. I mean that good, nice, thick layer of sweetness. Ooh, or a homemade cake fresh out the oven. That is what fragrance is for me. It's nothing but joy. And it just adds that extra ump for me. Now, it may not add that for you. You might just be like, well, I don't have to have all that. Well, she does, 24-7. Gas station, grocery shopping, walking to the mailbox. I just want to smell good and feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the time. But the fragrances I just shared with you, I'm going to smell good, feel good. <laughs> Somebody else going to benefit from it, too. Okay? I'm just saying. I, you know? It is what it is. I mean, I'm grown. Okay, yeah. Should be 50 in six months. So it is what it is. I'm, I'm grown. I can say these things and I can feel this way. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. Okay. Thumbs up, whatever. Hit the subscribe button down below, that red button that you still haven't clicked. Okay. And share this with a friend or share it with your man so he can go get you some of these fragrances for you because, you know, he, he wants you to smell good. He does, trust me. And he wants you to look good. You might take a little longer in the mirror. You might be late. But we're going to do better. We're going to start being dressed and ready to go on time. Because that's my pet peeve. If you're not on time, I would change my clothes and say I'm not going. Okay? So, yeah. I don't know why y'all do this. I don't know why a lot of women do this. It's some men to do it too. Like, you know you're going somewhere. You know you're going somewhere. Like, why are you not on time? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you have an amazing day. Peace and blessings.